Hello and welcome everyone. This is your friend Malanga. In this video, I'm going to show how to do both Windows 10 and Nikal Linux. So in this video, I'm going to use the bootable USB drive to boot your, the PC with the Nikal Linux. So at first, to make the USB bootable, uh, you have to download the ASU file of the Nikal Linux. You can download the ASU file of the Nikal Linux from this link. I'll give this link on the description, so no need to worry about it. Just um, you can download the Kali Linux 64-bit or the 32-bit version according to your requirement. Just click on this link and download the ASU file. So after downloading the ASU file of Kali Linux, you have to download the software to make your USB bootable. So this software, uh, the name of the software is Rufus. So you can download the software from this link. I'll give this link on the description, so not to worry about it. So down here, you can find this link. Just click on this and download the Rufus. So after downloading the as file of the Kali Linux and the uh, software called Rufus, just go to the folder where we have downloaded the as file of the Kali Linux and the Rufus. So just double click on the Rufus and open it. And now choose your USB drive. So this is my USB drive. And after that, select the as a file of the Kali Linux. Okay, and just go to the folder and choose the as a file. Now just choose the MBR and after that choose the BIOS or UEFI. And now choose the file system as the FIT32. And you can just name your bootable USB drive from here. Now after that, just click on Start and choose the first option and again click on OK. Now again click on OK. And after that, the process of um, creating the bootable USB drive will start. So after creating the bootable USB drive, now let's create a new partition for installing the Kali Linux on it. Right click on it and after that, just click on Manage. Okay, now just click on disk management and you can see this here in local type C, um, Windows 10 is installed and uh, this is the unallocated space and I'm going to create a new partition to install the Kali Linux on it. Okay, now let's create a new uh, partition. Just click on next, after that choose the size and click on next and again click on next. After that, you can name your uh, partition and I can click on finish. Okay, uh, this is the new partition uh, where I'm going to install the Kali Linux. So you can see this here. And now let's uh, restart the PC. Okay, now after restarting your PC, Press on your boot setup key and now after that choose your bootable USB drive ok this is my bootable USB drive so I am going to choose it ok you can see this here there are a few options uh, for the installation so just choose the first option the graphical installation process Okay, now the installation is loading. Now choose your default language. After that, click on continue. Now choose your location. And again, click on continue. Now choose your again continent or region. And again, click on continue. And now choose your country. Okay, now the, choose the language for your keyboard and again click on continue after that.
okay now the additional components are loading so wait for a bit Okay, now just uh, click on continue. After that, uh, choose the last option. Do not configure the network at this time. And again, click on continue after that. Now choose your worst name. Uh, now just type the, your username. Again, uh, type your username for your account. Now choose the password. click on continue now the installation process is uh, detecting the disk for the installation of the car Linux so wait for a bit now the disk partitions are loading Okay, now choose the last option uh, because we are going to dual boot Windows 10 in the car link. So make sure that you choose the last option manual and again click on continue. Okay, you can see this here. There are two partitions which I showed you before. This is the partition where I've installed the Windows 10 and this is the newly created partition. Um, and I'm going to install the car Linux in this partition. So now click on this continue now use as uh, ext4 file system and you can click on continue and just click on format the partition and now mount point just uh, the root file system click on continue and now bootable flag just on keep it on and now click on done uh, we have done everything uh, for installing the car linux in this partition now click on done and continue okay now just finish the partitioning and write the changes to the x just click on it and again click on continue now you can see this here um, it will ask you to create the sub partition uh, for installing the car linux but i recommend you to not uh, create the sub partition because the installation process will be longer so just click on no and then after that click on continue now click on s and it will format the uh, partition to install the car linux on it and now click on continue okay now the partitions are formatting for installing the car linux you have to wait for a bit now the system is installing it may take a while okay now just click on no and after that click on continue again now you have to select some software to install Now you have to select some software uh, which you want to install in the car Linux. You can see different desktop environment of the car Linux here. Uh, if you are a Kali beginner, then I recommend you to leave it as it is. But if you want to try different desktop environment, then you can just um, choose it here. But make sure that you are connected to a network. Uh, but for now, uh, for the Kali beginners, I re recommend you to leave it as it is. So just click on continue. Now uh, it may take a while mm. to install the software, so you have to wait until that.
now just simply um, click on S um, it will make the group bootloader as the master boot loader of your hard drive so I recommend you to just click on yes and then click on continue now just uh, choose your hard disk uh, which is installed in your PC so this is my hard disk so just click on continue after that now the crib build loader is installing Now the installation is finishing. Now the installation is completed, so just click on continue again. Now the system will restart. Okay, now the system is restarting. Okay, now the system is starting and you can see this here Kali Linux and the Windows 10 is successfully uh, uh, installed so hey guys uh, thank you for watching I'll make some speed if you like share and subscribe my channel have a nice day Jennifer.